Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. So the first bit of footage I'm gonna show you guys is a dive I did a few weekends ago without a spear gun. Apart from a couple of free dive courses that I've done, I've always got a spear gun in my hand. So it was good to get out and just go for a dive. It wasn't a dedicated free diving trip. It was only meant to be sort of snorkeling. So I was only doing very quick, short, um, not very deep dives. But it was awesome to get out and interact with fish and stuff like that. It was a really good weekend. So I'll roll on that footage now. So this weekend away was for our wedding anniversary. And yes, I'm batting way above average. It was an awesome weekend away on a cruise with Sunday Reef Sleep Pontoon. We basically spent two days on the reef, snorkeling, a few sneaky little dives, interacting with fish and just chilling out on the Great Barrier Reef. Any weekend away on the Great Barrier Reef is unreal and this weekend was no exception. This Mary Rass is a resident of the pontoon and spends most of its days scaring the day trippers. I spent a bit of time hanging out with the scuba divers. I tried to set the GoPro up to get a few cool shots and before we knew it, it was back to reality. All right, now, spear fishing. Now, I did get out for a spear a few days ago. We've had terrible weather this year and we finally got a weather window, but the visibility wasn't that great. To get any sort of vis, you had to go right out to the reef. That wasn't on the cards for us, so we decided to try our luck at the island, see if we could find some vis. Um, first spot we found probably six to seven meters of vis. The second spot we had nearly 15 meters of vis in some areas, um, but that soon changed once the tide turned. I'll roll on that footage now. So all of these clips coming up are from that second spot. We had some amazing viz when we first got there. Not long after we jumped in, a couple small Spanish swam past. I had my little throw flasher on me, so I chucked it out and headed down to see if anything bigger had come in. I didn't land in probably the best spot here. I should have moved forward a little bit up against that coral there. We did a few more dives like this and didn't see anything worth shooting. Here's Ben Rennie lining up on a nice little trout. We'd moved a little bit away from the boat. We hadn't seen any sharks or anything, so we chucked the trout on my float line and then we just about lost it. This guy was stuck on my float line for like a minute or so and we somehow got the trout back. This is me heading down for the only fish I shot on this day. It's only about sort of six meters deep where I'm sitting here. I spotted this trout from the surface it was facing me head on, so I acted like I wasn't interested at all in it. And the fish got curious and turned and gave me a pretty easy shot. If I've got plenty of breath hold left, I like to go down and grab the fish, try not damage too much coral, and secure the fish on the way up. That way if there is sharks around, I'll be more deterred to come in towards the fish with me hanging onto it. As soon as I hit the surface, brain spike, bleed the fish. Now for the tail of the one that got away. The visit started turning for the worst. I've edited this footage here, so I'll just flick back to unedited footage so you can see what the viz is really like. It's not that great. I saw a good trout move around this bommy, and I basically ran into it head on to steer. It sees me, takes off, 
Now something good that I do here is I don't just chase the fish. If I chased after that fish then and there, it'd be gone. I still just sort of slowly move around, hoping that it might present itself again. And it does. I put in what looks like a good shot to me and it still looks good when I review the footage, but it must have moved just as I pulled the trigger and I missed the fish. Alright guys, we're back in the shed. I've actually done a little bit of work on the project boat, so let's jump in. So this bulkhead I've completely glassed in now. I did three layers up to this top piece here, just to make sure that's nice and strong in there. And I did four layers all up down on the side of the hull there, down and around and also onto the floor. Now for the inside, I beefed it up a little bit because I really didn't want this to crack or anything through here where you're going to see it. So on the inside, I ran some of the 600 by axle. You should be able to see it in here. So I ran 600 by axle around all the joins, all the way around, down to the bottom and across here. And on top of that, I put a strip of the chop strand mat and then two layers of chop strand on the face as well. So I really beefed it up on the inside. The reason why I did it on the inside is that by axle you can generally see it. You can see that little, you can see that little join there. So I beefed it up on the inside. It'll be out of sight a little bit more rather than on the face here. And you can see that, you'll be able to see that join on the face there. So yeah, now that one's in, I've given that a sand today. So I'll tidy up a bit in here and get ready to glass this one in as well. All right guys, I hope you got something out of that one. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you got any ideas for future videos. As well as that, coming up, while I'm talking about it. So as you know, Spiro have come on board sponsoring the channel. They've sent us a heap of these Spiro gun dom. You can use them to protect your rubbers on your guns. And they're good too if you've got your guns hanging up, your rubbers aren't flapping around everywhere. Um, some people use Velcro, I used to use little strips of Velcro and stuff like that. These things are great, they just slide on. Now we've got a few of these to give away. So if you want to get a head start on the giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and also that you're following my Instagram page, XL Adventures. I'll put the link down below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.